The debate was anguished and lasted for hours. Many in Parliament argued that the Greek people cannot take more austerity. The measures included in the law are not only socially unbearable, but they're also going against Greece and its effort to get out of the crisis. They go against the public and national interests, they'll make the recession worse and create a greater debt and a greater deficit. But the Prime Minister said that rejecting these measures would be catastrophic. I'm sure there's no one in this room, regardless of which side they're on, who has any doubts about the gravity and how critical this debate is. It's absolutely essential for the future of the country. The result will decide whether we get a bailout for the next few years. We can decrease the national debt by 100 billion euros. And in the end, Greece's parliament did what it has always done throughout the debt crisis. It went close to the abyss, looked at the possibility of expulsion from the eurozone and pulled back in fear. The new austerity measures approved. But on the streets outside, there were shocking scenes as tensions exploded once more. Yes, there were some hardened troublemakers who wanted a riot. But there were also tens of thousands of ordinary citizens. These people hold their politicians in contempt. Several buildings burnt, including this prominent cinema. The firemen got here too late. This cinema was a much-loved landmark in the city centre, and this is happening just a few hundred yards from the Parliament building. So the background to the debate which is happening there is one of chaos and mayhem in the surrounding streets. So Greece stumbles on down its miserable path. Default has been averted, at least until the next crisis, but many Greeks now feel humiliated. More and more politicians and ordinary people don't believe in the painful measures that are being forced on them. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, Athens.